I'm going to do the general reading, general daily energy reading. <laughs> I'm in front of the camera now, so I'm like being a little nervous. So just bear with me. <laughs> um, so this is for the collective and this is a timeless reading. So this is for whenever you feel drawn to hear this message. We're going to get a crystal card as an overall energy. And then I have some tarot, some clarifiers and close out with an oracle. Also, this message may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Then it was not meant for you. It was meant for someone else. All right, so this is the crystal that we picked. And this is Tanzine Aura Quartz. Enchantment Cosmic Alchemy. Cosmic alignment is here. Tanzine Aura Quartz brings equilibrium to our multidimensional states melding mind and body for spiritual balance. With indigo rays vibrating high, this stone heightens the ability to see and communicate beyond this world. This crystal gently opens your crown chakra, creating a channel between the divine and your body. Made from the rare metal indium, this crystal brings mystical qualities to a higher understanding of one's metaphysical abilities. You are more powerful than you think, Virgo, Pisces, Uranus. Um, I feel like that is kind of becoming in tune with yourself and realizing that, um, you know, like it was saying that you're more powerful than you think. And I feel like that goes back with that manifesting, right? Is that, that, that energy that you're putting into it, like, are you being negative and saying, I can't and that it won't. And are you using those type of words or are you saying it can, right? I can things can happen for me and being in that positive energy to make things happen because if you keep saying I can't I can't I can't it won't it never will isn't that what happens right it doesn't happen um, but when you get in that energy of I can and, and being in that powerful energy of saying it's going to work out um, it's going to happen for me I'm going to do what I can to make this happen. And it may not be the path that you were thinking, but it's like being in that more positive energy. I know for me personally, I was very negative. I was like, everything's against me and nothing's happening. And that's what happened. I was just like, it, it just, it wasn't in a good place, but I've learned to try and turn that around to be positive. It was almost like when something positive happened to me, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this feeling? Wait, no. Okay, something positive happened, so definitely I'm going to be punished later and all of this bad stuff's going to happen to me. Well, you know, then what happened? Because I put myself back in that negative energy again, right? Because I couldn't enjoy the good because I was just like, okay, where's the bad coming? Where's the bad coming? So I learned to enjoy the positive right to embrace it and to say yeah I, I deserve that you know I deserve that positive energy I deserve those positive things I'm a good person and I deserve that and that's the energy that I have been trying to keep myself in and life has just really changed for me I mean things have just become so much better I mean the days are so much better um, the challenges are not as challenging um, I don't let things get to me anymore because I used to wallow in that energy. So I feel like that's this, this crystal here is that you have more power than you think. And it's, you know, it's, it's with what is your thinking? What, what is your perspective? What is that energy that you're putting out there? And to just kind of think about that, right? Because sometimes we're just kind of going and going and going. We're just not even thinking about what it is that we're doing, but maybe it's time for you to look at that. What energy are you putting out there? If something good happens to you, how do you respond to that? If something bad happens to you, how do you respond to that, right? And maybe looking at that to see if that needs to be changed. All right, so let's get some tarot and see what's going on. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Standing Stone. We have the Moon nature five of cups the wheel knight of cups 
the O King and the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like that's that goes with the stone here because for overall energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So that's a new way of doing things, a new way of looking at things, a new perspective, kind of seeing how do we react to things. Um, <clears throat> what is that energy we take in when something doesn't work, when something does work? What is it that we do, right? And kind of looking at things from a different, a different way, a different perspective, doing things differently, reacting differently to it. All right, so we have the Page of Swords. And I feel like this is something that has kind of been a long time coming for you. So this is all current energy here. We have the Page of Swords, the Standing Stone, the Moon, and, and Nature. Um, so the Page of Swords, I feel like this is kind of um, something that you kind of realize that it's something that had to happen, but it was, it's been delayed. Like this has been a kind of a long time coming. Like you kind of feel like this, this changed, but then you would kind of go back into, into the old way of doing things. We have the standing stone, which is the justice card, which is things falling in your favor, right? If good things happen to you, not to be afraid of that, right? And to embrace it and to say, yeah, you know, I deserve that. I want that. I want things to happen for me. I feel like it's almost like the cards are saying, because these are major, a lot of major cards here. We have one, two, three, four, five, five major cards, okay, in this reading that are saying that this is a strong message for someone and to be aware of that. We have the moon, okay, and that is, I almost feel like it's don't keep the blinders on to take those blindfolds off and to be open to the good things that want to happen to you that want to happen for you and to embrace that positive energy and to not um, you know how sometimes sometimes it's hard for people to take a compliment and someone will compliment you and say oh you look really pretty today and oh I don't I don't know how that happened like I I don't really feel very pretty you know instead of reacting like that saying thank you thank you um i feel good today i appreciate your kind words and embracing that and saying well i'm feeling pretty today <laughs> and somebody noticed and it's okay if they didn't but i'm feeling good and to accept that compliment and to not brush it off and that took me a while to um, to accept it and to not shoot it down, right? Um, and just making those changes, right? And accepting that positive. We have the nature card and that is the devil card, all right? Um, there's a bear. I don't know if you can see. There's the bear here. And the bear sees the trap that the hunter is setting right so it's like the bears like you're not gonna catch me this time you're not gonna get me because I see it and it could be that negative uh, thinking that you're going into and that it may be like if you get that compliment that at first you're like ready to say negative stuff but you're like nope I see that I'm not falling in that trap again I'm not going to the negative I'm going to the positive or you know it could be that if something doesn't happen on time, right, something's been delayed and it's not happening the way that you thought it was going to happen, that you don't fall into that trap of going to the negative and being like, well, I knew this wasn't going to happen. I, you know, it just, I knew these kind of things don't work for me. These don't, you know, instead of going that, well, it's, going to work for you but it's just going to be on a different path or a different time frame than what you were thinking and that's what you need to tell yourself and to keep moving forward in that positive way because again for our overall energy we have the eight of pentacles which is doing things reacting in a different way all right so for future energies we have the five of cups and she is pouring out the liquid from those cups right she is pouring out the negative. She's getting rid of that negative thinking. She's realizing that, yeah, you know what? That's not doing me any good. Why am I holding on to that? Why am I holding on to that energy? Because it's not doing me any good. It's hurting me. I'm hurting myself. We have the wheel, which is change, right? It's change. Um, and 
thinking more of the positive and accepting those compliments. We have the Knight of Cups. Maybe it's somebody reaches out to you, just like I was saying, is that somebody reaches out and gives you a compliment and tells you something positive and something really good about yourself. And maybe you're just not, you know, you're not used to accepting those things, but you know what? Start accepting them, okay? Start embracing those. And being not going to the negative when you receive those. And because sometimes if someone keeps trying and they keep trying to tell you, you know, you're a good person or you're doing really good or I'm really proud of you or they're telling you these positive things, you know, you look pretty today or you, you look, you know, energized or whatever that is and you keep shooting that person down, that person's not going to reach out and they're not going to do it anymore because they're like, well, every time I try and tell that person, you know, I try and tell them how I'm feeling and that I try and give them a compliment I get shot down and that person doesn't want to feel that right they don't want the negativity they're trying to show you how much they care for you because they love you right and they want you to be in a positive energy but if you keep shooting them down then they're they're just gonna give up but I feel like now they're reaching back out again okay they're reaching back out to you okay they're handing their cup to you they're they're there's they're, they're they're reaching to you again because you've changed because you are they're able to tell you that you look pretty and you say thank you and you could they can see that it makes you feel good and that you truly are appreciating that and that makes them feel good too because if you say something positive to someone you're saying it because not because you want to get something back but because you want to make that person feel good Right. Some people do it because they want something back. I mean, let's be honest here. But in this situation, in this reading, this is about um, someone that wants to say something positive to you because it makes them feel good too. Like they, they, they feel so excited for you or they're so, they, they care for you so much and they, they want you to be in this positive energy like they are. And when they see that you are that way, they're like, oh, you know, they're accepting it. Like, they're, like I'm so happy. And then you're both happy, right? Um, then we have the O King, which is the hangman, which is about seeing things from a different perspective. And I feel like that's you. Like, you're finally seeing it from that perspective of, okay, um, someone gives me a compliment. It makes me feel good. And I show that person that I appreciate their compliment and we're all feeling better. That not only when you were being negative towards that person that was trying to reach out and be positive, that were you hurting yourself because you weren't accepting that positive and you were going to a negative, but you were also hurting that other person, okay? But now you're seeing from this point of view, right? The hangman, you see, be able to see things differently. And you're seeing that now it's making you happy and it's making them happy. So everybody has a win-win situation. And who doesn't like that? All right, so let's get some clarifiers. I love this reading. I really like this reading. All right. Page of Wands, okay? It's that new start. It's kind of like, I feel like this page because it's like a young energy and I feel like it's that little spark, right? It's that beginning. It's the beginning of change. It's the beginning of something different. It's a beginning of a new perspective. It's a beginning of being happy, right? It's 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 been a long time coming, but I feel like sometimes change has to happen when we're ready and if we're not ready we're not going to accept it if we're not open to it if we're not willing to listen to the advice or the suggestions or we're not willing to see how we're reacting to something or what are those actions that we're doing if we're not willing to be open then it, it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter how, how many times somebody says something or you know it's, it's not going to get through you have to be willing and you have to be open to accept this energy and to want change because if you're not then it's not going to happen but i feel like this reading is for that person who's ready for change right who is ready for that change who is ready for the good who um doesn't want to go in that trap anymore all right doesn't want to fall into that trap anymore 
All right, we have the Two of Swords. Again, I feel like that is that decision on what it is that you want to do. Do you want to stay where you are or do you want to embrace this change that's coming in for you? Um, you may not, you know, right now, this also could be that you don't, you don't really see, like, sometimes it's like, well, I, I don't, why should I do it? I don't, I don't see what the end result is. I don't, I don't see the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but it's something that because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not there, right? That maybe you're so far in the distance from it that you can't see it. And I feel like that's not a reason to not do it because like I said, you have to be in that frame of mind of being open and willing to be able to make those changes in order for it to happen. All right, three of pentacles. It's work, it's gonna take some work, right? It's gonna take some work to make this change, but I feel like it's such positive change that it's a good thing and that it's something that is so rewarding not only to yourself but to the people that are around you. Growth, evolving, right? Um, the Empress here, it's growing and learning and it's wanting better for yourself um, and wanting better for those around you and to be more, feeling more satisfied with life, you know, and waking up and being positive and um, no, not every day is going to be rainbows and unicorn unicorns, but it would be nice if there's more days like that instead of less days like that. All right, for future energies, again, we have those five of cups where she is pouring out that liquid. She's getting rid of what's not working for her. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to carry this around with me anymore because it's not doing me any good. It's just hurting me. All right, again, page of sword. This is something that has been delayed, right? And there may be some disappointing news that you have to tell to some people because that's also the page of sword, just disappointing news that maybe you have to tell somebody something or maybe it's relationships that you have to move away from that you can't be as close as you were because that is that toxic energy that was the liquid in that cup that is holding you back. And those are some changes that you have to make or it could be situations, you know, Maybe it's, you know, things that you were doing that, you know, just was not resulting in a positive result. And you're like, you know what, I can't do that anymore. I, I need to focus on me. I need to do that positive things, right? Um, six of Pentacles is sharing, communicating with those that you care about and that you like and then balance, you love and that you balance that out, right? Because like I was saying, as this change not only affects you, but it affects the people that are around you. Getting rid of that heartbreak, that three of swords, right? Kind of putting a stop to that. It doesn't mean that you forget. It doesn't mean that it's something that wasn't important. But maybe now it was kind of in the forefront, but now it needs to be in the past. It needs to be something that you don't carry around with you all the time because it was not doing you any good. All right, the Knight of Swords, and that is, I feel like with his hand right there, and it's so tight around the sword, it's like, yeah, I'm taking control of this situation. And kind of, I feel like for some reason, the um, think before you react. Sometimes, you know, because it's right next, it's right on top of this Knight of Cups where he's, you know, handing his cup out. This person is reaching out. And I feel like that's, that's, it could be you reaching out to someone, right? Because we have the um, Six of Pentacles, which is communication. But for some reason, I'm feeling that somebody reaches out to you. And if they say, say something positive or you feel like you, you, you know, you want to go back with, you know, your response is the way you used to be where you, you say something negative. If they tell you something positive and then you say something negative about it that you catch yourself, you're like, oh, because if you start to go in that direction and then you kind of catch yourself and then you, you think about it, right? Um, thinking about it before you react because it's right next to the hangman, right? Which we'll is stop, take a step back, look at things from a different perspective and then move forward. So I feel like it's like, well, you know, that may be something that you may have to get used to, but I feel like once you start doing that and accepting those compliments and accepting that good, that it becomes normal and that it would be abnormal for you to go to the negative, which is a great thing, right? Um, we have seven of swords and I feel like that's kind of coming out of the shadows, coming out of your shell, right? coming out from behind the wall 
being able to put yourself out there and to make those changes and that you are ready for those changes. Um, let's pick one more. Look at that. Love that. I knew there was one more. Ten of Cups. Look at that. Look how cozy that is. You know, by the fireplace and with the kitty cats and just enjoying it. And enjoying that company with that person, right? Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a, you know, like a relationship with that person or that you have to hang out with them by the fire. But it's like you're happy and they're happy. It's a win-win situation for everybody. Um, and I feel like that's kind of that new perspective for you, right? With the overall energy, the, the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It's that, it's that new feeling. And that's a great thing. All right, um, let's close out with an animal oracle. I'm kind of feeling a fortune reading card. Let's do one of those. Let's do, you know what? I haven't done these in a while. Let's do an empowering question too. Let's close out with an empowering question and a fortune reading card. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's see. What would happen if I didn't try to control my future? What would happen if I didn't try to control my future? Again, that goes back to this Two of Swords. What do you want to do? Right? Do you want to stay? In the current energy, do you want to have that, that hunter put that trap out for you and for you to fall into that trap? Or do you want to see what's going on and say, hey, I'm not falling in that trap anymore? All right. Fortune reading card time. I'm feeling this one right here. Moon. Which we did have the moon card come out here. Okay. So we have moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. What is your inner voice telling you? What is that feeling? What is it saying? Is it saying that it's ready for change? That it wants to change things up? Does, is it saying that it wants to look at things from a different perspective? All right, listening to that, what is it telling you? And I feel like your answers are all there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.